Hi, I'm Angie and yeah, today I want to try out something new as always and we are trying Namas today. I don't know if I'm pronouncing it right, either it's Nama or Nama, I'm not sure, please let me know if you know it. Um, and it's a Japanese word and it stands for um, raw and fresh. And I think the fresh is coming from because you're using a lot of um, fresh cream in it. Um, I will make a vegan version, um, but you can just replace um, like the, the, the vegan butter with normal and dairy butter. So all cool, we can make it work. About a year ago or so, uh, my best friend in the US um, brought me some, some Nama chocolates or Neymar chocolates um, from the company Roy. So that's a Japanese company and it's basically a more solid ganache. What else is there to say? I'm not sure. Well, I wanted to make something today that I cannot screw up, or at least I hope I can screw it up, because I was doing a lot of videos in the past couple of weeks where things didn't go as planned, and that is frustrating. So today I really want to do something bulletproof, and I think I can make a ganache, and I think this will work. Um, yeah, let's see how that goes. We start with cooking some cream, or I'm using an oat creamer here. We need 250 milliliters. Almost there. Okay, good enough. And one tablespoon of butter. I have a vegan butter here. And now we are heating this up until it simmers slightly. Now we can prepare our chocolate. So I already um, yeah, chopped about 320 grams of um, dark chocolate here. I have a 78% dark chocolate. Let me know if you ever want me to do um, the same thing with a matcha and a white chocolate. Um, I can also give you a recipe for that. But today I thought I would try the basics and the classics. So we go for the dark chocolate. So really what we are doing here today is basically making a ganache. It's not really more. <laughs> bulletproof. It should be bulletproof. All right, my cream is simmering and now I will add it in two or three steps. And stir it really well. It will look like I screw up again, but I don't. You need to emulsify your chocolate and the cream and in the end you will get a beautiful ganache. This isn't looking super disgusting anymore so at this point I will add the rest of my butter and cream mix. And of course, um, the higher the quality of your chocolate, the better this will taste in the end. So I still have some lumps in here. So what I so I will use my mixer just to make sure that everything is like completely melted and I don't have any lumpy parts in there. And at this point, I will also add a little bit of rum. So one tablespoon of rum into my ganache because I want to make it boozy. Um, here you can also add, I mean, any kind of liquor, honestly. Um, it should be something stronger. Um, so when you try gin, it wouldn't work, I think, because it's just the chocolate will completely overpower the flavor. But if you have like a nice whiskey or rum or brandy, this will work really nicely. And if you want to do something without alcohol, I would also recommend maybe using an, a mint oil or an orange oil. Just something that gives a little bit of flavor. So yeah, this is how it should look like. And now I've prepared um, yeah, two plastic containers and I lined them with parchment paper because we will put this into our freezer now for two to three hours. So use something that will not be damaged in your freezer. Maybe one is enough. Yeah, I think so. I think I only need one. Tap it a little bit um, so you remove the air bubbles. And that's it. So now this goes into the freezer for two to three hours. 
here we are um so my ganache has been in the freezer for about yeah i want to say two hours and 30 minutes and now i will remove this one here now comes the part where i'm most anxious about the cutting um, so I have some warm water here and a sharp knife here so I really want to make sure that the knife is warm so we can cut really um, yeah, clean cuts and I really want to uh, make squares or rectangles that are at least kind of even I'll make a cut that maybe three centimeters one here one there And maybe one here so I plan to um, clean this knife with the warm water over there after every cut Oh, oh wait. Oh yeah, nice. I will set those pieces aside that I think are good enough. Those are not. And also trim the sides. That's why you want to wash down your knife every time after every cut. So you get really nice and clean um, edges and not this. So those are pieces for me and I will not dust them, Just setting them aside. You want to keep those in the refrigerator um, because they get warm and not as solid really quick. So keep them at a cool place. Well, a couple of them are really huge. So I think I will cut this big one down. And now we dust them with cocoa powder. Let's see, let's get them a little bit closer. Honestly, I do not know if I'm supposed to coat them from every side with cocoa powder, but maybe? I don't know. If you like cocoa powder, then dust them from all the sides. If not, then don't. Let's give one of them a try. Maybe an ugly one. This one here. This is so smooth and soft, I really love it. The rum I've been using comes through really, really nicely. I love it. I think maybe this size would have been good enough, so I think I made really big chunks here. Um, but yeah, go for it, make them a little bit smaller. Um, but this is really worth a try. Thank you so much for watching my video. As always, I hope you liked it. Um, hit the subscribe button, follow me on Instagram at chocolatesbeer. If you have a question, leave a comment in the description below. And have a great day. Bye.